<laughs> Welcome everyone to the Everything Show. In case you forgot who I am, I am Matrix Lord Two One Two, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello. All. Okay, I have to say a few things. One, taking a vacation, sort of the way I explain it, in, in the according to Matrix Lord Two One Two, is like not taking pod doing podcasts regularly, right? I popped up some videos here and there, but I got to tell you, taking a break here and there made me realize that I can't stand taking an effing vacation yeah. away from YouTube because I absolutely love doing these podcasts on YouTube. So losing my effing mind trying to figure out, you know, it's like an experiment too. Like, just imagine... All of a sudden, you just don't use your computer or yeah. your phone. Yeah. What the hell do you do? You lose your effing damn mind. That's basic. And I tried doing this. I'm like, maybe this could work. I could get concentrated on my book. And no, no, but no. You find that the information that you need is online. Happens. Right. It's just, you know what it is? Sometimes we feel like we're doing social media too much and we're too much in our phones. And I'm, No, no, not, not for me. So, so I, I want to say a few things. Um, I just want to say to my subscribers and to the people that watch me, I love all you guys. I miss all you guys. I appreciate all you guys. Um, what's up, Ben? How are you? Ben, look, we got a new, a, a new subscriber. To this the new guy. Who's this new voice? guy? So I, I got to say, I, I really miss doing the podcast. I, feel, I don't feel like a person. You know, like... You know, Sharon's even like, do a podcast. Like, I, I just, you know, I just don't feel like a person. Like, without That's doing That's how I start feeling thing. when I do my, uh, when I, when I do my cast on Vaughn or iVlog. Right. I don't Are you all right, Sharon? Oh, I need to do something. I mean, even, right, even if it's for an hour or 30 minutes. Right. So, so again, this, this return is not going to come without consequences. And a little shocking as it may be, uh, there's going to be some consequences. Now, I, I do I did comment on this vacation, so to speak, which I got to tell you, it was a scientific experiment that failed on my part because I can't even do a damn book without doing my podcast. So it, it, one go, it doesn't go without the other. You know what I'm saying? If I'm miserable because I can't do podcasts, then I can't do a book. And um, while I was supposedly what I consider a way um, – I am going to call out here live, and I know people don't like Dirty Laundry, but I am going to call out Dirty Laundry. Um, the Galaxy Man Show Channel 2, Jacob, has returned to trolling um, and was nasty and did some horrible things with my images and horrible things and tried to troll with Daniel and some other new kid. He, which, tried to pull, he tried to pull me into a cast. So Right, and I do have to what, say what that... We're doing other stuff. I when when you're going when you're on vacation already, I don't know what the attempt of trolling is. Like, what could you possibly do to keep me off the internet if I'm already off the internet? So, um, you pissed me off beyond belief, and I'm gonna deal with that as like a sort of my own battle in the background because I'm not gonna let that go. And this is a Matrix Lord that's kind of pissed off about it. So that's gonna be the end of the dirty laundry. Uh, if you want to see somebody that's fake, go to that channel because that guy's full of crap and he's a troll. And he is. I'm sorry, and I got the evidence to prove it. But anyway, I'm back, okay? And I miss you guys, and I miss doing this stuff. Aww. I do. I, 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 I mean, this is who I am. And you know what? I'm not going to stop what I'm doing. I don't give a crap. Yeah. Consequences, whatever. I'm going to do what I have to do, and uh, this is what I like doing. So there you go. Now, I did want to talk about the massive things that we missed when I was not doing KISS. Today, we're going to do current events. We're going to do the James Gunn thing. So, Ben, yeah, you want to I tell heard that I heard from another YouTuber, Phil, that uh, a lot of the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy folks did finally come out and say, mm -hmm. we stand with him. We don't believe in his last tweets, understand, but we do stand the way he is right. today. I mean, Ben, you want to basically talk about a little bit in detail? Yeah, well, they released the whole... Transcript. Uh, transcript. Everybody signed it and basically said that they don't agree with James yeah. Gunn's tweets, but... Uh, like 11 to... years ago, basically? Uh, yeah. 
they'd like to see him be reinstated as director, but they're not going to. Right. Yeah, he, basically, I read the gist of it. The gist of yeah. it is really you can't hold people him. accountable for stuff that was so long ago that he wasn't even a Disney employee, right? That's like saying if like you're a bad in kindergarten, you're going to get fired for your upcoming movie at age yeah. 45. That's not right. And Disney was not the employer, so they shouldn't give a crap what happened before. But the person that they hired is a different person entirely. So I agree with the Guardians. I think that Dis – here's the problem I'm worried about, though. Dirty. Disney has an ego problem. Yep. So – if I were predicting how bad they were going to be about this, if they were, if they're going to be as bad as I'm going to guess they're going to be, they could basically scrap the whole Guardians of Galaxy three entirely. And they, they could, and if they're going to, hey, if they're going to be nitpickers, then why didn't they terminate uh, Robert Downey Jr.? Because look at this, right? He, Grant, he did not tweet anything. Right, I know. Actions from years ago. But I don't want to get off top. So I, I think know, they I they would reboot Guardians of the Galaxy in the 31st century, which that's how it started with those members that are different members than the ones we have now. Uh, and they would just reboot it in the 31st century with uh, Vance Astro and mm -hmm. Starhawk and you know, Charlie 27, and you know what I'm saying? Like, there's all those characters. I hope they don't do that because they kind of did that when Sam Raimi, like, left, and it was Marvel, not not Disney, but Marvel was grimy, and they and they were like, oh, reboot, reboot, reboot. So it was, like, kind of grimy that it was just, I guess Sony did it too. They were grimy about it with in Sam Raimi, and they just rebooted the whole thing. Um, I think that they should do a Guardians 3. I think that Disney yep. should rehire him back. Do I yeah, think they they're going to do that? I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to be they're going to make themselves look even more like a bunch of a holes, yeah, and they're going to fire the entire cast. I think they're going to fire the entire Guardians cast. Yeah, because like because like they said on the Franco show is, do you stand by your uh, guns? Pardon the pun. Do you stand right. by your guns and uh, keep him gone to appease right. those who think actually thought he's still that bad. Or do you yeah. rehire him for those who pretty much have forgiven him? Right. And granted, they don't agree with his tweets then, but see how he is a much better man today. Right. And they should rehire them. And, and, and if they, if Disney fires the entire cast of the Guardians of the Galaxy because they're grimy and they have egos, the problem that's going to happen is other people like Avengers are going to flip out, I'm sure. Yep. And I'm sure Robert Downey Jr. is not going to tolerate that at all. And he's nope. going to say something because they don't have him working for them He'll anyway. He'll probably bring anymore. up his past, too. So, okay, then why right. Does he but he me? might say, hey, you know, I, I don't work here anymore because you guys need to be new contracts. So, you know what? Yeah. You guys are a-holes. Since they're probably. rebooting uh, Marvel anyway when uh, 20th Century Fox comes into you, toodles anyway. They're not going to reboot it. What I think they're going to do with that is, not that I want to jump back and forth, but yeah, they're going to do an A versus X. They're going to make it that everybody's dead is not dead. Like, in other words, if Tony Stark really yeah. dies in the next movie, he'll be alive, and they'll battle. They'll get Patrick Stewart. They'll get Ian McKellen. They'll get Michael Fassbender. They'll, do, they'll, fight, they'll have the Avengers fight the young X-Men and then the old X-Men. They're going to do it like that. And I think that that's definitely going to happen. You Jack will be back, and they'll get that, and Robert Downey Jr. will be in there. All of them will be in there. That's what I think is going to happen. So, in other words, you're going to have a period where you think the original Avengers are gone, and they're not gone. You know what I'm saying? They're back into the picture. Um, Disney has to hire James Gunn back. It definitely. If they keep causing this nonsense, they're going to cause dissension in the ranks, mm -hmm. and everybody's going to speak out. All the actors and actresses are going to speak out against Disney. And Disney's going to have a huge shitstorm on their hands. What's up, Vaughn? Hey, Vaughn, how are you? Okay. What's up, Vaughn? So... I, I think James James hey Vaughn, how are you? All right. I think James Gunn has to, well, I want to get your take on the James Gunn thing, Vaughn, because the Guardians of the Galaxy um basically spoke out and said that they want him to remain as director and they stick up for him and you know, what happened in the I, past should be in the past. I think I agree with that. I think I think the problem with this is is that this person, um who we, I'm a piece of, he's a creep, so I'm not. Yeah, he is a name. creep. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, he is just trying to dig, and yeah. and back in the day, um, 
thanks to my friend out there, John, who um, rides me up to the, this is a thing called edge core, where people try to be edgy and do stuff like, like controversial stuff. Those treats was not, I mean, you can't really take the treat seriously because he was really trying to see who he can piss off or who to get a reaction from. Uh, but to, people change, they grow. And I want to believe that, you know, he has grown from that. He apologized, mm -hmm. he, uh, you know, for, I mean, that's the thing, he apologized. And I, I'm the firm believer that no one is beyond redemption. I mean, yes. people can redeem themselves. They can, you know, they can turn up a little, you, uh, another leaf. And he has proven that he has turned over a new leaf. He has made his life better. I mean, people do stupid shit all the time. Right. And, you know, I would want somebody, if I did something stupid, you know, and I own up to it to, you know, accept my apology. Right. But this is just somebody being vindictive and an asshole, yeah. and and then the same person to put uh, has caused people to put people on lists, saying, um, "Wait, are we in everyday show or topic?" Everything show, yeah. No, no. Wait, this is fine. We're talking about this. He, okay. Yeah, he did put people on a list like he's going to go after them he, next. He yeah. put he put um he put one of my favorite comedians on the list, um Tim Heidecker, who's been very outspoken about this lately, and I I don't think that was fair because it was this, this dude who is associated with this person I'm not going to give two shits about, because uh, he's really a foul person you know right. he endorsed rape and all this gross you know really really disgusting stuff thing, yeah disgusting stuff so um. He uh, basically put uh, put a list of people on this um, list. This is, I think, he put Sarah Silverman, all these comedians, Tim mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh and then this idiot who's for I I don't get it because they are, are defending James Gunn. They're now yeah. associated with pedophilia and stuff like that. That's who bullshit. Does that? Who the fuck? They not even defending that. They are defending the right for this person to, you know, he has redeemed himself. Everybody knows James Gunn don't even fucking deal with that. You know what I'm right. saying? But they are defending his right to, um, you know, he has redeemed himself. He apologized. These was just jokes. And then it, um, they are now associating these people with some horrible things, slanderous things. Which I think everyone on that damn list is going to sue this person's ass. Because this is really yeah. hard. Who the F do these people think they are that they can control the world by destroying someone's life? This guy doesn't get paid to do that. He's just being no. an asshole. Yeah, he's being an asshole. So, he has so, you know what? Eliminate that fucking problem and don't fucking listen to this asshole. Yeah. Because this, if this shit continues, everybody's going to get destroyed. Exactly. It's it's a piece Nora. of game type shit. Yeah. It's, he started Pizzagate. He went out to different people, and their yeah. lives are ruined yeah. because. And that was all bullshit too. That yeah, Pizzagate. it was yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Twitter so, won't ban him. No, because he's in league with the. That the, fucking um, place Twitter. constantly got people harassing him forever. Yeah, that exactly. Shit. And people like Tim, I don't know them's not gonna stand up. You know, they're gonna stand he's, up. He's basically a powered troll. Yeah, that, he is. Like just like we have our stupid problems, like Jacob the yeah. troll and all these other idiots yeah. that try to mess with me and other yeah. people. Like he has a troll that has a little more power than in those right. losers. Yeah, he's because a Trump loving troll. Exactly, right. that's basically what he is. And um, mm -hmm. he got these idiots following him and attacking yes. innocent people, people who are actually trying to do good in the world and not try to fuck with people and have a right to voice their opinions. You know, he's fucking with them because they, they said, hey, you can't fucking go back through a person's history that far. You can't. Judge them on, you know, who the fuck Such are they to bullshit. judge people? You know what? This is a thing where it's the employees tell the employers to go fuck themselves. Exactly. Because you know what? You have no right to fire someone that they weren't even employed by Disney in the first place. Exactly. When that shit happened. And they should be able to sue this shit out of Disney for and, doing that. Exactly. And who the determination. Fuck is and honestly, who the fuck Disney is to judge a person when they was found they in the Disney? Oh yeah, look at Disney himself. Yeah, and Disney look at all the anti-Semitic stuff he's done. So Come on. I mean, you can't fuck. Disney judge. needs to shut the fuck up and stop the bullshit and hide James Gunn back and just 
Shut up. And let hopefully this shit goes away. Hopefully this shit goes away where they don't fucking have to deal with this shit anymore. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if they decide to take action against the cast of the Guardians of the Galaxy, there's going to be a shit storm like you wouldn't believe. If they decide to fire everybody, the Avengers are going to come out and tell Disney to go fuck themselves too. Yeah. And because you know what, they're not under, the, and then then everything will be fucked up because you got Avengers four yeah, coming up, and no what, no Avengers. Go to 20th Century Fox, they'll probably go. You know, they'll fucking stop. It's gonna go on the we'll toilet. Just, uh, take the loss, we'll go bankrupt. So Disney will stop. Stock will go on the fucking toilet. But here's toilet. my thing with here's my thing with the whole fucking bullshit going on. Okay, you want to get this? You want to get James going for pedophilia? All right, he is innocent. You, you do like, shit. You. He didn't do shit to anybody. These was jokes made, and that's another thing that's going been brought up lately. You know what is acceptable, what is not acceptable as a joke. Okay, here's the thing: before y'all go up against him with that joke, y'all should look at the aristocrats joke. That joke is a merit of different taboo topics. It's based off of controversial topics, and these been told by every great comedian, even Gilbert Garfrey. Um, told a fantastic version of this joke. It's an old barbarian joke where it just builds on itself like the most horrible stuff builds on and builds on and builds on. But if you're going to go after somebody, you can't go after them against something that, you know... I know, we want to lose our breath with this shit. I mean, it's... it's yeah. Look, bottom line, Disney, hired James Gunn back, don't say shit about it no more. Yeah. And then this will die. But, you know but if you're gonna if you're gonna fire, I honestly think they're gonna fire the whole damn cancer garden. They the probably is because I don't. I think they're gonna be a bunch Disney, of assholes about it. Yeah, Disney ain't gonna fire hire him back. And you know because it's wrong because this man done went into somebody's trees and pulled that out, which is somehow you saw they, stock, the stock on Twitter drop too. Yeah. Yeah. Not only yeah. did Facebook drop. Like yeah. and they lost a hundred and ten billion, oh, yeah. hundred and ten billion dollars, right? But Twitter, because now people are saying, you know what? Fuck these yeah. social media sites. Yeah. If I'm gonna lose my job, I'm gonna lose our livelihood because you yeah. stupid fucking well, social we, media. We ain't gonna go on this shit anymore. Oh, a fucking joke of all things. Come on, you have. To and you know what? Me. Twitter should have a responsibility to the fucking people themselves. But like no, James no. Garn and Facebook Twitter, should and protect he, them. But here's the thing. Twitter CEO is has been uh, has been uh, alleged white supremacist. So no, he they're not going to take responsibility for that. They've been shadow banning people for coming out, speaking their minds. They done did a lot of shady stuff to the point where. Uh, Didn't Ashton yeah. Kutcher start Twitter? No, he did. Who not. starts? Oh well, he was he was one of the he first was, people. He was one of the first celebrities. Him and Stephen Fry and all of them was like one of the top celebrities when it first came out. Okay. So that I mean, it made they made it popular, but I mean seriously though. But you know, even the president has came out with all his good sense and said, "Well, you know, you need to stop. This should be illegal to shadow ban people, which they have been doing. Like if you have a voice on Twitter, they will shadow ban you." That's is, crazy. Yeah. So it's a lot of shit going on with Twitter that I don't like. James Gunn's situation is one of my top bullshits. Because it's just, you know, people being dumbass about stuff. Going yeah. against, going back to somebody's history that's, you know, the statute of limitations should have had claiming to effect for stuff. Exactly. 11 because years ago, get the really, fuck out of here. Get the, right. Yeah. How the fuck are you going to get somebody 11 years ago yeah. on a stupid comment that was made, yeah. a stupid joke, who he's trying to be edgy and try to provoke reactions. He right. did that 11 years ago. He apologized. Let's move on. Let him do yeah. his job, which he's supposed to be getting. And, be, and Disney, please, fucking stop being stupid with your shit, man. Yeah. You're getting tired of your bullshit. I'm not surprised that people don't stop, you know, will stop, your stocks will start going down because you being stupid about different stuff. How Disney you, stocks are going to go in the toilet if they keep fucking being a bunch of assholes about yeah. it. Yeah. Definitely. It's, it's just, that's, and you that's, know what? I'm not. I listen. Nobody pays us to fucking say anything. We say no. what we want to say. So you know what? I as much as I love Disney movies and I love Disney, you know what? If you're being assholes, you're being assholes. I'm gonna call you out on it. So exactly. you know what? I'm glad it's a perfect time to come back because this is not mm, the only see. topic. Douchebag. Is it a coincidence both those uh, words uh, begin in D's? This is not the only topic though that we have to cover. So we're gonna end this now. And Ben, you want to say anything about it? 
about the Guardians. This is the same Disney that's doing this to Gun made Song of the South, had red faced Native Americans and Peter Pan for crying out loud. Exactly. Yes, and the black face in one of their um the crows. Fantasia. And the- Sex in the Fantasia. Sand to Lion King and yeah. uh, men's genitalia as the castles and, and uh, Little Mermaid. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So great job. Um Disney. Disney. Standing All right. Right. We're gonna go right into the next everything show, which is gonna be about Chris Hardwick. All right guys. Take care. Bye for now.